Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to put an image behind this text or the other way to understand, we are going to put text on an image, but we don't have the image yet. So for showing the image, first we'll create a new struct and we'll call it image overlay. And then we'll have view and verb body some view. Now inside this, actually we want to have this stack first. All right, okay. Now I'm going to remove this over here and I'm going to call our view, the one that we just created, image overlay, this one. Okay, now of course it's all empty because inside this stack we don't have anything. Now the first thing we wanna do over here, we call our image function to show image, which is actually also a view. Now inside this, I can mention our image name, which is welcome one. Now in my assets folder, I have this image if you wanna see. So this is the image that I want to show over here. Okay, now this image is, now we could do a bit of work on this. So here first we could do resizable. So here we would do resizable. And after that over here, we'd also do uh, aspect ratio because right now we do see that over here the bottom is still white. Now it has to do with aspect ratio and here we do fill and then we should be good to go. All right, now it's looking better. And after that actually, now actual thing that we wanna do. So with this aspect ratio on image object or image view, we have a function which is called overlay. So we are going to call that one overlay. Now inside this overlay, we need to have at least one thing which is called callback. So callback is the one that actually is going to show the text on it. Now, simply I could also do like this. So it's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. And as you can see, it already showed up over here, but actually we wanna separate it. So we'll have a new struct for this so that we look good. Now over here we would say text view and then we'll have view and inside this we'll have var body and some view and then we'll have once again this stack over here. Now we'll have this text and I would say it's a beautiful day. Beautiful. Now from here we can just simply remove this and the struct we created we can just simply call it from here and we are good. All right, now it's over there. So that's how you put a text on image, which is also called overlay. Now, after this, actually we could do some design on this. So here we could do font, and then here the font type is, we could do call out, and even we could do a bit of padding on this. So padding, I would do six so that it looks better. And then also the foreground color, foreground color. Now here we would do the white, but if we do that, the color is, I mean, it's not visible. Now, because it's all about styling. So over here, I could do also background. Now for background, we would do color.black. Now with this, we'll have a black color, but since we are in different modes, so we could also do purple so that it looks a little match with the color. Now after that, over here, we could do opacity. Now opacity, we could do 0 0.8. Now it would look better. Now after that over here, we could also do corner radius because right now it looks like a rectangle, which we don't want. So we could do 10 and you say it's looking better. And the last one, which is called padding. Now over here, we do padding six, 6.0. And you see that it has space inside this thing. So yeah, that's how actually you create image overlay or put a text, show a text on image. Anyway, if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you.